Welcome to Theme Park Motivation. My name is Rich, this is my family, and we love theme parks. So Michigan's Adventure, this is regarded as one of the worst parks in America and I'm going to tell you why I don't really think it is. So the park offers 38 rides and attractions, most notable Shivering Timbers, but I gotta say it wasn't even my favorite coaster in the park. It is a phenomenal wooden coaster and I can see why most would say it's one of the best wooden coasters they've ever been on. However, when I went on it, it was very rough. I personally thought Wolverine Wildcat was a much better coaster. They had a bunch of retrack work they did on this coaster very recently and it was running very well. I think this park has a lot to offer. I think it has a wonderful setting as far as it's on a lake. There's a beer garden over there by the lake. They have a wonderful Camp Snoopy. Yes, their rides are on the older side and they could use a brand new attraction for 2024 or 2025. That would be wonderful. I don't see it happening, but this park does make money. It is a profitable park and my opinion with ticket prices being around forty dollars a ticket and season passes being around a hundred dollars it's definitely worth visiting if you're in the michigan area or grand rapids area but probably not worth a drive completely out of your way to go and visit we only visited because we were on our way from canada on our way to six flags great america one of the coasters that you absolutely have to do is Mad Mouse. This is a very rare coaster. This was built by Aerodynamics and it's one of only three that are still in existence. It's not like your traditional Wild Mouse coaster where it kind of jerks you out of the seat. This thing is very smooth and a very enjoyable coaster, no doubt. So right over by their Camp Snoopy, you have Zach's Zoomer. And this is a nice wooden coaster, very tiny seats, definitely not made for bigger people. It is made for smaller children, but a very enjoyable little coaster. So probably their best themed area in the entire park would be their Camp Snoopy. This has a wonderful little playground area for the kids to play at while mom and dad scroll on their cell phones. Just kidding, but definitely has quite a few rides and attractions for the kids to do. I really enjoyed going on the Woodstock Express with my daughter. She absolutely loved that little coaster. It was a lot of fun. So one of the things that this park could really improve on is definitely having more options for food. There was hardly any place that we found to eat at. So the park also offers an arcade, which is nice. You want to get out of the heat, out of the sun. That's pretty cool. And also a water park as well. And that's on site, so you can visit that. There's no separate admission required, which is a really nice thing because I absolutely cannot stand when these parks charge you an extra fee to go to their water park not only that but then it's in a different location with this being right on site and what they had to offer i was like blown away when i saw some of the slides and stuff thought that they had a very decent water park there so one of the things that i noticed while i was walking around this park and some of the people that i talked to i just really got this sense that this is more of a local park people that live in the surrounding area. There wasn't too many people going out of their way to come here. 
and these people took a lot of pride in their park. They really love Michigan's Adventure. It's a very, very clean park. I thought it was very well ran with what they had to offer. An example of that would be at one point Corkscrew got stuck on the lift hill and they really did everything they could getting the maintenance over there as quick as possible and I'll tell you they had that thing up and running within 10 minutes we were back in line and ready to go. Very short coaster but still a lot of fun. So one of the things I would definitely recommend not doing when you go to this park I would not recommend purchasing the meal plan being the fact that they don't really have a lot to offer. I think they do offer a buffet however it was not open when we went which was like a Tuesday. I would also not recommend getting the fast lane because this park does not see that big of crowds that you need to be concerned with getting on the rides over and over again. You can pretty much do that without a fast lane. So I'm gonna mention some of the water rides that they have here. They have Loggers Run, which is a nice little log flume. And those are always enjoyable. This one's pretty good. You're gonna get soaked without a doubt. Another ride you're gonna get soaked on would be the Grand Rapids. It's however pretty short in my opinion for a river rapids ride but still a fun and cool experience and i'm glad that they had this to offer so another great one that they had was adventure falls and think of tidal force at hershey park but on a smaller scale but same huge wave this thing was exactly that definitely a fun ride and i would just say Michigan's Adventure has a lot to offer. I mean, three thrilling water rides. It's almost unheard of at smaller parks. I want to hear what you guys think. Have you ever been to Michigan's Adventure? Would you go to Michigan's Adventure? I think it's a wonderful park with a wonderful setting. And I would be curious to hear what other people thought. I know that some people have bashed this park, but I'm not one of those people. I like to be positive, have a positive message, and I think this park has a certain charm about it. Definitely a local hotspot, I would say, for people around the area. And like I said, I'd love to hear what everybody else thought on this park. Please comment below. Let me know what you think, and as always, thanks for watching.